Hello YouTube, it's Herba here and today we're going to take a look at the Netduma R1 gaming router and I'm going to give you guys my personal review of the product and let you guys know what's good about it and also what is bad about it. Now I want to start off by being completely transparent with you guys. I did not buy this router on my own, it was actually sent to me by Netduma themselves and all they asked me to do was try it out for a little bit and give an honest review of their product on my channel. So if I wanted to, I could completely bash this thing and say terrible things about it. It's not like I'm being paid by them to say good things or anything like that. I'm just here to give you guys an honest review and let you guys know the pros and the the cons of the router so I just wanted to be super clear about how the deal works and everything like that and I thought we could start off here by taking a look at the routers interface so I could show you guys exactly what this thing could really do so right now we are actually on the host filtering tab of the interface and this is probably my favorite thing about the router so far this is where you can actually control what kinds of people you connect to and where they're located in the world so right here we have a little circle and in the center of that circle is where I'm currently located. So if I were to hop on my console right now and search for a game, I wouldn't connect to any host outside of this circle. And the reason why this is so cool is because I no longer have to play with people from the West Coast or play with people from Europe, which gives me a much stronger connection while playing. Now if I want to, I could go ahead and make this circle super small and only connect to people in bordering states, or I could go ahead and make this circle huge and play with people from all around the world. And also this works on any system you have. So if you guys are playing on PC or Xbox or PlayStation, it doesn't really matter matter it works exactly the same way on all of them we also have a ping assist meter down here and this is where you can go ahead and set your max ping so you won't connect to people if your ping would be higher than where you actually have it set on this meter and then even further down here we have a little thing where you can go ahead and deny and allow different hosts which is pretty freaking cool now I usually make my circle around this big so I could go ahead and play with people from the east coast of the United States and I also leave my ping around 80 which seems to work really well for me now we also have a congestion control tab and this is where you could go ahead and divide up your bandwidth so if you have a lot of people in your house or you have some friends over or whatever and you're trying to play some games, you could go ahead and give yourself more bandwidth than everybody else so you don't lag while playing. So this feature is absolutely amazing in my opinion. I've never seen a router like this before and it really does help a lot if you have a lot of people using the internet at once. The next tab is the host analysis tab and this is pretty much the ping assist meter but for PC games only. So like I said before, if you guys are playing on PC, this thing will totally work for you or if you guys are on console, it works as well. So below that we have a VPN tab and this is really helpful if you're a YouTuber or a streamer or anyone that might be getting DDoS a lot and this will just protect you from that and keep you online and keep you playing. The interface also has a network monitor built right into it so you can go ahead and see all the data usage such as upload and download to different devices on the actual network itself. So that's pretty much everything that the interface actually offers. They have a few other tabs that like teach you how to set stuff up and like support and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, I think the router is great. My connection while playing games has been a lot better. And I actually took this router with me to my college apartment where all my roommates were streaming Netflix and downloading stuff and they were also playing games. And my connection was still amazing. Now with that being said, there are a few downsides to the router. As far as price goes, it is $200, which is pretty fair if you look at other top of the line gaming routers. But then again, again you could go to your local Best Buy and get a cheap $30 router so it's really up to you on whether or not it's worth dishing out the $200 personally for me it is because YouTube is my job I mean I play video games for a living so connection is really everything to me but if you're just a casual gamer that plays a couple times a week I would not suggest getting this because I mean it just wouldn't be worth it for you also, one annoying thing that I ran into a couple times is when I try to upload videos or files to different sites, it occasionally takes a lot longer than it usually would. And I think that's just because the site servers are located out of my little circle that I have set, so it sometimes can be a little slow. And who knows, it could even be the website's fault because it doesn't always happen, but I thought I'd go ahead and mention it anyways in the video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys are looking to have a better gaming experience or your connection is kind of lacking, then I definitely suggest picking up a NetDuma R1 gaming router. Their links will be down in the description below. Make sure to look online for different coupon codes because you can save some money if you find one online. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Peace.